So ladies and gentlemen, we're calling the call to order for our reorganizational meeting here at Daniel Boone, December 2nd, 2019. Uh, temporary secretary, which is me, will call the meeting to order. We're going right through this here. First, do I want to call the order? Okay. We're going to, roll call. We're going to do a roll call right now. Thank you. Uh, Miss Albright? Here. Uh, Mr. Miller? Here. Mr. J. Murray? It would just be you. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. Okay, B. Scott, I'm here. Okay. All right. And then, um, Pledge, of Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. We're going to do a Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm just going to announce the names of the holdover members. This is an agenda edit in the, I guess, in our, would that be in the uh, committee? paper. So our holdover members are Miss Albright to my left, Mr. Miller across the way, and myself, Bucky Scott. <laughs> Notice of organizational meeting, uh, read by me here, pursuant to section 4-402 of the Pennsylvania Public School Code, this is the notified board members that a meeting for organizational or organization of the Daniel Boone School District is being held Monday, December 2nd, 2019 at 7.30 p.m. at Daniel Boone Administrative Office 2144 Wavertown Road, Douglasville, PA. Um, at this time, I'd invite if there's any public comments on the agenda items. Seeing none, I think we'll move on to, right? Good, okay. All right, so temporary, okay, okay. That's, that's just me. Any seated and sworn board member may nominate him or herself as a, or an other seated and sworn board member for any position. I now call for nominations for temporary president. And that could only be one of the three of us. I'd like to nominate Bev. I'll second that. Thank you. Okay. Well, just we're going to wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so Beverly Albright is our temporary president. Okay, so do we, can we move past the next line there? Are there any other nominations? I guess I can ask. Are there any other nominations for the president position of temporary president? I guess hearing none, I declare the nominations closed. As the nominations are closed, and do I need to, do I want to do a roll call? Number five. Okay, so as the nominations are closed and Beverly Albright is the only candidate nominated, I move for, what's that, Beverly Albright's mm -hmm. election by acclamation for the position of temporary president. All those in favor say aye. 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 Oh. I was, I was a little dramatic. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to, it's my pleasure to hand over the gavel to the temporary president. <laughs> All right, so, so I think actually you technically, does she have to move or? No. Okay. Do I want to keep going or is this is now no, better? it's up to you, you're number seven. Uh, you, you would keep minutes and everything of the, of the uh, meeting moving forward. She runs it until the president is elected. Okay. So that would take over with item number seven. You can just ask. Just ask. So you would have to review these 
certificates of election from each of the um, board members that are coming along. Is, is, there, is there a Mr. John? Sorry, that's me. That's sorry, I had a heck of a time finding the place. <laughs> yes, I am here. Uh, where would you like me? Do you have your certificate of election? Was that sent to you? Um, I that I have not received yet. I got a form that I had to return, and uh, it said to return it by December 26th okay. to confirm that I wanted to accept the uh, the election results. Okay. So would that would he be sworn in conditional upon uh, conditional upon providing that? So you want to go through the same oath, you're right. Okay. Um, if you could come up and have a seat over here. Sure, thank you. What, what's his name? John Murray. <coughs> oh, Jay Murray. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's John, correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Came straight from work. <coughs> Okay, so if all four of you could stand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And repeat after me. I state your name. I, I Julia Olson. Do <laughs> do solemnly swear that I will support. Do, do solemnly swear that I will support. Obey and defend the Constitution of the United States. Obey, Obey and defend the Constitution of the United, United States. States. And Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity. And I will discharge the, office, the duties of my office with fidelity. As the nominations are closed and Julia Olson is the only candidate nominated, I move for Julia Olson's election by acclamation for the pres 
I'm sorry, position of board president. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, so temporary president. Oh, aye. that was quick. Did we get a picture of that? We got <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now you're moving. So now I actually, now I actually need to turn on my microphone. Okay. Okay, next we need to, I'm going to call for nominations for board vice president. Don't all jump at once. I'll say Steve Miller. I'll second that. Do we have any other nominations? Okay, the nominations are closed. Um, and as Stephen Miller is the only candidate nominated, I move for Stephen Miller's election by acclamation for the position of board of vice president. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Congratulations, sir. Um, and now I'm going to move on to um, calling for nominations for board secretary. Nominee Scott. Second. Copy back. Are there any other nominations? Call for, call for those nominations to be closed. Um, as those nominations are closed and um, Bucky Scott is the only candidate nominated, I move for Bucky Scott's election by acclamation for the new board position of board secretary. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Bucky Scott. Oh, thank you. And um, as we remember from last term, some of us anyway, um, we do need we do need an alternate board secretary to be named. Um, a call for nominations for alternate board secretary in the case that Mr. Scott can't perform his duties sometimes. Beverly Albright. Do I have a second for that? Second. Do we have any other nominations? As the nominations are closed, um, and uh, Beverly Albright is the only candidate nominated, I move for Beverly Albright's election by acclamation for the position of alternate board secretary. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Beverly Albright. We need the appointment of a legal action secretary. I call for nominations for legal act, legislative action secretary. Are there any are there any nominations for this position? Don't all jump at once, everybody. I, we got we got like we got like ten more after this. <laughs> This sounds like Ke this has Kevin written all over it. It does have Kevin. This 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 has have Kevin Strobel written all over it. Yes, I nominate Kevin Strobel. Is that Kevin? Do we have any other nominations? Okay, um, nominations are closed, and um, Kevin Strobel is the only candidate nominated. I move for Kevin Strobel's election by acclamation for the position of Legislative Action Representative. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Mr. Strobel. I, if I remember correctly, um, the previous person who had that position um, did not um, need to attend any additional meetings. There was a little bit of research involved. Um, if there was ever any um, clarifications that needed to be gotten through PASPA, we could do that as well. But there, there wasn't a lot of additional time involved. Um, okay, on the next thing, number 13. Nominations for PA School Board Association Representative. This is for a one-year term. I don't know what's involved. You yeah, want? what's involved? No. It, there, um, there is um, one meeting a month. Is that correct? With the uh, school board. Yeah, past the school board. No, the. Uh, no, there, there isn't one a month. 
Okay, okay it's less than that. Right. There are meetings to attend. If if something comes up and you would um, not be able to make it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, report back to the board on any any moves that are happening. Um, there you can be as involved with PASMA on the state level or as, you know, you know, you, your involvement can be as much or as little as you want. They also have their own um, board, and you can get involved in different um, different workshops and committees on that level as well. Interesting. Am I am I sensing we, we some interest? Yeah. Yes, that's true. Jennifer. And the reason I ask that is, just, you know, the legislative us, not this, all of us have taken the time to get to, you know. The legislative action line that's part of the uh, county legislative action. There's four meetings a year. What? There's four meetings a year that you can choose to attend with myself or any designee. Uh, that's up to you. Somebody, the guy as a board member, I have to ask. I bring information back myself. Sometimes I would send a designee with it. All right, I'll nominate Jennifer. The former individual. Can we um, go through the rest of them to find out what kind of meeting commitments that are going to be there? Sure. Yeah, those are the, those those two were the only ones I didn't yeah, know much sure. about. The rest of them, I did know. Of them we know. I understand. Mm -hmm. The PA School Board Association representative. Okay, we're gonna um, so we're gonna back you know backtrack for a second and not do nominations right now for PASCO. We're just gonna run through some basics on the rest of the the rest of the groups before we do nominations for PASCO representative. And I think I think that makes sense. Yeah, just kind of get an idea what they are. Fair enough. Um, tax collection. I was was the one that I was on the last two years. Um, that's the um, the tax board for the for the county. Um, that is four meetings a year. Um, they're basic. You know, it's a you know it's much of the work of that is done by the um, they have a they have a. An executive governing board, and we and we are just there to um, to vote on on the the. We don't get involved in the day to day of collecting taxes, but um, um, you learn a little bit about where our money comes from. Well, that's you know the lion's share of the money is, that the that the school district gets, and it's a, it's a meeting of not just school districts, but it's also <coughs> the municipalities. Um, Burke's career and tech, would you be able to give some input on that? Yes, um, that one would have some uh, extra meetings associated with it uh, because the district would have a representative seat on the, the BCTC board um, as, as a voice, uh, obviously because they're an extension of our curriculum, so uh, that would be every time that they meet, and I, I do believe that they do meet monthly. It so I'll, I'll just speak for myself, but what, like, what day of the week would that, is that vary? It's typically Based set, on our jobs. Yeah, it's typically set uh, the same every day. I don't have the exact dates, but the exact day of the week, week currently. So it's not necessarily Monday. It's usually Wednesday. Okay. It doesn't conflict with our meeting. <laughs> okay. Good. And then the first intermediate unit? Meeting? That would meeting. be the same. Similar, Once a month. Similar to the uh, BCTC. Okay. Um, Blazer Foundation Committee, right? Well, um, oh, do you have other questions about that one? Split. I mean, the tech, career technology can be split. There's an alternative there. Correct. That's still me. That's why it's not on there. I got you. Uh, no, actually. Okay. And then um, Burke's, Burke's, the Blazer Foundation Committee. Yeah, the foundation is just would be as needed. As needed. As needed. Okay. So if, if there was a request, like you might get an invitation if, if they were hoping to get they board. They would need some board. information from the board or have the board member that present to me. Okay. Does that give us enough um, basis to continue assigning, you know, yeah. that, picking people for these these positions. Um, um, so for the PASPA rep, um, I call for nominations for PASPA school boards, PA school boards association representative. I uh, nominate uh, Jennifer Leon. Second. 
Do we do we have any other nominations? Okay, the nominations are closed. Um, um, and as Jennifer Leone is the only candidate nominated, I move for Jennifer Leone's election by acclim acclamation for the position of Pennsylvania School Board Association representative. All those in favor say aye. 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 Congratulations. Okay, um, appointment for tax collection uh, commission representative. Am I reading this right? You're just finishing out your term. Yeah, there's a meeting on Thursday. If, <laughs> so, yeah. If you want to go. Now, now it's a it, the, the, it's a once a quarter thing. So if someone who has maybe less less um, availability than I do would like to take that as as their their thing and I can take something that maybe maybe calls for more meetings, I'd, I'd be fine with that. Can you share the position? Because like no. Thursday, I'm in California. I get it's my it. my biggest problem. No, then you would. Looking at the same issue that I do, you know. I understand. The challenges with our work to be able to make those kind of commitments. You want to make a commitment. I understand. Kind of you can, I mean, you can leave it as me if you like. I, you know, I don't. I, mean, I don't mind taking the other ones. I don't mind doing it. I'll help you with it. Mm -hmm. I, I just know that Thursday I'll, I'll be somewhere no, I get it. Um, um, so I'd be happy to take it. Can you miss me? I I can. Um, if you if you, it is fine. If you what? take over right now, they might cancel the meeting because I'm I think I'm the last person to make a quorum. <laughs> so so if and but that that shouldn't impact some someone taking the job for a year. You know, it does, it, it's fine. But is it always on Thursday? It is always Thursdays. But it's, but it's all, only four of them. There are only four of them a year. What's it it's usually one right before my birthday on the in June. Oh. That's <laughs> yes. oh, hold on. Oh, so um, do we have any nominations? Steve. I'll nominate Julia Olson. Yes, I'll second that. <laughs> you can get you got so much on your plate. <laughs> Do we um, have any other no, um, any other nominations? Okay, so the nominations are closed. Um, Julia Olofsson is the only candidate nominated. I move for Julia Olofsson's election by acclamation for the position of Tax Collection Commission representative. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, She's so, having a big night. <laughs> um, and so, appointment for Burke's career and technology representative. Um, Burke's career. Uh, I don't know. Is it the fourth? It looks like it's the fourth. It was eight twenty-eight, five twenty. Are you doing? Okay. No, so, the alternate. So it's the it's the fourth fourth Wednesday. Uh, uh, fourth. Uh, at least for the current year. What was involved in that? Showing up at a meeting once a, once a month. I'll, I'll do that if it's Wednesday. I, I nominate once. yourself. <laughs> I nominate <laughs> Bucky Scott. Do I have a second? Could you hear all that? <laughs> all right. Um, do we have any other nominations for the position of Burke's Career and Technology Center representative? This is the fourth Wednesday of the month. Yeah. That's key. Okay. All right. I declare the nominations closed. Okay. As the nominations are closed and Bucky Scott's the only candidate nominated, I move for Bucky Scott's election by acclamation for the position of Burke's Career and Technology Center representative. All those in favor say aye. Aye. I, I didn't hear Steve. <laughs> and um, as we talked about before, um, our um, alternate for the BCTC representative is currently uh, Beverly Albright. Her position is um, is not up until 2020, so we're, we there's no action required on that. Um, appointment for the Berks County Intermediate Unit representative. Do we know when they meet? I'm looking right now. It looks like it's the third Thursday. That would be completing. That this is interesting. That would be completing. Mr. Rathgeb's term, so it only goes until the end of June of, of this coming year, so it would only be seven meetings before someone, you, 
whoever is nominated or someone else could take that position for the following three years. He's, he's going to kill it. I nominate Stephen Miller. I second. Do we have any other nominations? Okay, the um, nominations are closed. As the nominations are closed and um, Stephen Miller is the only candidate nominated, I move for Stephen Miller's election by acclamation for the position of Berks County Intermediate Unit Representative. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, congratulations, Stephen Miller. He's so excited. I know. He can really, he just gotta contain himself. I know, this is, this is the excitement of the word is really popular. <laughs> Um, appointment of Blazer Foundation Committee representative to go, is that supposed to be December 2nd, 2019? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, to, to next December 2020. Um, I call for nominations for Blazer Foundation Committee representative. Um, as, Mr. as Dr. Cooper had said, it's an as needed basis. I'll do that. That's perfect for me. Oh, you want to do it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I nominate Beverly Albright. Do I have a second? Do we have any other nominations? Nominations are closed. Um, and as Beverly Albright is the only candidate nominated, I move for Beverly Albright's election by acclamation for the <coughs> position of the Blazer Foundation Committee Representative. All those in favor say aye. 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 Congratulations, Ms. Albright. Congratulations. All right, here's the tough one. So um, I, I, I need to step down for treasurer, I believe. Yes. Um, I need um, some a, a nomination for board treasurer, and it can't be Bucky Scott, and it can't be Mr. Miller. They could be Kevin Strobel. It could be Kevin Strobel. And again, if this would run till the end of your current term, at which time it would. Oh. Oh, that's oh, right. Saying? That would only run until the end of June. So right. you, the person doing the job would get a taste of what the work, what the mm -hmm. work is like. And uh, I heard a second, I believe, correct? I heard a second on that? Yes. I'll second. Okay. Um, do we have any other <clears throat> nominations for anyone else for board treasurer? Okay, hearing none, um, nominations are closed. Um, and as um, Kevin Strobel is the only candidate nominated, I move for Kevin Strobel's net, um, election by acclamation to the position of board treasurer. All those in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> are, we all, are we all getting tired? <laughs> the, the, hopefully there are no no's. You can feel the energy. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Um, I request a motion to authorize the use of the existing signature stamp until a new one is prepared reflecting the board's new officers. Can someone make a motion to authorize that? Second. And that was you, Scott? I think she's here. Oh, Beverly Albright. And you yeah. seconded? Seconded, is yeah. that correct? Yeah, she won. Definitely. Do I need? Do we need to vote on that? If there's no. <clears throat> I'm asking, Dr. Cooper. Um, does that need to be voted on? Yes. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. <clears throat> um, all right. So pursuant to policy 005. Um, a reminder to all board members who desire to participate in on a standing committee to make their desires known to me five days prior to the December voting committee. Um, that's um, CNI, facilities and transportation, finance, policy review, extracurricular, negotiations, technology. Right now, I don't think negotiations is meeting regularly. All the rest of them are, even the ad hocs. Um, um, Y'all ha have my email, um, so you can give, you can uh, let me know what your interests are. Um, if we have trouble fleshing out any of the committees, um, uh, we'll talk. And the voting meetings the sixteenth. That kind of oh, that's right. Two weeks. I want to give you a call. No. No, I just didn't do it. All right. Existing <laughs> committees and appointments will function under new committees and members. Okay. So. Do we have any comments from the board? 
John? Well, let me say welcome to our new members, but yeah. that's my only comment. It's a lot of work, but it's rewarding. Um, comments from the superintendent? I echo Ms. Olison's uh, comments. I want to welcome our returning members. Uh, I'd like to welcome our new members, Mr. Murray and Ms. Bailey, and um, our other newly elected or returning Ms. Olson and Mr. Scholes. Looking forward to working with you all as a team and uh, the work that the district does for our, for our students. Okay, do we have any comments from the public on the reorg? Reorg, and then we'll do. We'll it's have com we'll have comments on on this one in just a couple minutes. Okay. Any other comments from the public for the reorg? Okay, we're going to adjourn. All right. Let's switch seats. Now we'll move on to the committee of the whole. Mm -hmm. Am I? When I do the roll call on this, I'm doing everybody. Do I come over there? Yeah. I already, I already filled out a couple, but um, I'm gonna call everybody. I gotta take my name. Roll call. <laughs> you take your name. Julie, it was great seeing you. It was good to see you. She really wants to do policies. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is that hers? I feel like I feel like we lost. So next week. Okay. Well, why are you putting it there? We'll, we'll work on it. <laughs> well, actually, John moves. John's supposed to No, he's fine. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just did a lot. What am I doing? Bucky, can you hand down my soda?